see if we have problem. Okay. <laughs> we'll see how we can do on this. <laughs> so I'm Jamie. I am privileged to be Haley's cousin. And we uh, have been really fortunate to be raised far more like siblings. And his cousins, holy crap, it's like a one sentence in. <sighs> I cried everything. My mom is Susie. If you've ever met her, you would understand this. She's the reason these things happen, so. We have gathered here and are watching online to witness and bless in the sight of God, the joining together of Nathan and Haley in marriage. This covenant of marriage, this partnership relationship that binds two hearts as one was created up by the God who creates us for one another. In his life, Jesus graced a wedding at Cana of Galilee and through his sacrificial love and service gives us an example of how we should love one another. Nathan and Haley come now to give themselves to each other in this most holy covenant as we all get to witness to their love together. God of us all, you are the true light that illuminates and inspires us. You show us the way, the truth, and the life, and your love sustains all things while also making us new. Our souls rejoice this day, for your presence is clear and visible in Nathan and Haley's lives, through the love that they share through the hope that they are witnessing to, to today, to the promise that unites their hearts in love, we see your love unfold among us. Be with us and be with those who cannot be with us personally, because we know we are in their hearts right now. Hi, Bobby. So good. Thank you. So good. What do you think? It's so good. <laughs> so good. Oh, look at your little bling bling. Oh, bling bling. Oh, this is good too. Give me a twirl. <laughs> you look awesome. Hi. Love can have so many names, similar to the number of names we've accumulated for each other over the last four and a half years. Almost six years ago, we were strangers, working under the same roof. Then we became friends, enjoying small talk at your desk while I continuously stole candy from your stash, claiming that I just had an uncontrollable sweet tooth. But in reality, I was just making an excuse to see you. Love has many names. Like the name of cities, states, and countries we visited over the past 52 and a half months, enjoying one of our favorite hobbies together exploring the world with both friends and family, creating amazing memories that will last us a lifetime. Love has many names. All of our friends and family members who have been a part of our journey the past 234 weeks, each one bringing a unique quality that have helped us form to be the people we are today and ultimately the people that we have fallen in love with. There is no one else I want to spend my days with, and I promise to take you to pumpkin patches every year, to let you watch holiday movies in July, break into dance with you at random times, and of course, always make you laugh. But most of all, I promise to love you unconditionally as you are my human being and I am yours. Love has many names. One in particular is my sunshine. For I cannot wait to have sunny days the rest of my life and beyond. Nate, our day is finally here. <laughs> I'm so excited to be your wife. You have enriched my life from the moment you stepped into it. There's so much that I love about you. Your kind heart, your goofy personality, your genuine nature, and your ability to make me feel safe are at the top of that list. As you know, I'm a big fan of music, and loving you feels like listening to a favorite song. It brings me so much joy, makes me feel understood, and I just want to keep repeating it over and over again. On this day, Nate, I give you my whole heart, and I make these promises for our life together. I give you my promise to always be a safe space for you to be your complete, goofy self and to share all of your ideas and ambitions. I promise to respect, encourage, and support you, 
I promise to stand by you and uplift you so that we can accomplish more together than we ever could alone. I promise to work at our love and to always make you a priority in my life. I promise to forever call you by ridiculous nicknames. I promise to keep up the hobbies we love and explore new ways for us to find joy together. I promise to always be a good quarantine buddy and to help us find fun in the mundane. I promise to be your forever dance partner. I promise to travel to new places and to let you have the window seat when your long legs need it. I promise to choose joy in our relationship each and every day. I promise to give you the best of myself. I promise to love you in both the highs and the lows of life. And lastly, and most importantly, I promise to not only be your partner, but to be your best friend, always. Haley and Nathan, you have declared your consent, your love with your vows before God and before us all as this congregation gathered near and far. So may God both confirm your covenant and overflow your lives with love for the rest of your days. Now that Nathan and Haley have given themselves to each other with their vows, by joining hands, giving and receiving rings, it is my great honor and privilege to announce that they are husband and wife, and these whom God has joined together may no one put asunder. It is my privilege now to announce to you all for the first time as husband and wife, Nathan and Haley Meisinger. Nathan, you may kiss the bride. I'm really in awe of the person that Haley is. She is the most kind, inclusive, good Grammy, independent person who's just the most gem of a human you've ever met. I'm sure we've all been witness to Haley's wit and her humor and her relentless pursuit of a life well lived. Her spirit is one that we can all aspire to and emulate. Gosh darn it, don't we all just want to be her friend? She's so fun. I asked Nate from a scale of one to 10, how cold his feet were. And he said they're on fire. <laughs> um, it has always been apparent to me how much Nate loves my sister. Um, you can see it in his words, you can see it in his face, and you can see it in the way in which he treats her and the rest of my family. Uh, I know that I speak for um, all of us when I say that we could not be happier to have Nate formally as a part of our family. And we've considered him to be a part of our family for as long as we've known him. So this is more of just a formality than anything for us. <laughs> <laughs>